Listen, I'm so tired. Can we go now? Oh, jeez. Is that what time it is? <laughs> I'm sorry. I was concentrating on my work. I know you've had a long day. Hey, this morning I bought your book. What do you say we get you tucked in and I read to you? Yes, please. <laughs> I must have left it in the other room. Why don't you go in there and get it? I'll finish up here, and then we can go, okay? Sure, I'm on it. <laughs> so, where did he leave that book? Stop it, Aiden. It's not funny. Aiden? Uh, are you doing that, Aiden? You found it. Now we can get down to the serious business of bedtime stories. <laughs> Jody? Jody, you okay? You look pale. She looks dead tired is how she looks. Come on, Nathan, let's get her off to bed. Yes. Yes, hold on. Nathan, it's for you. Nathan Dawkins. Nathan. Nathan, what's up? My wife. Lord, they were coming back from my mother's. Truck. Drunk driver. Wrong side of the road. They're dead. Um... Jody, let's get you off to bed. Hey, let's stay right here. I'll be right back. Come on, Jody. According to our intel, the Republic of Kazakhstan has discovered the existence of the Infoworld. Found a rift, conducting experiments from a secret base located in the province of Hailaojiang. We don't know what stage they are in their experiments, but we've detected important fluctuations within the Infoworld. That means they've found a way to interact with the other side. Now your mission is to destroy this condenser and any other advanced technology you find. Even if we manage to destroy the condenser, the rift will still be there. Now, building a condenser is a costly and time-consuming business. But this operation will gain time to better understand the world and to make sure that no one 
try to use it against us. I assume the site will be heavily guarded? Well, you should expect considerable military resistance. Team will. Team? Show them in, Marla. Hey, baby. Good to see you, girl. Clayton's team goes with you, a small, agile commando unit able to avoid detection. The mission begins in two days. Good luck. Be careful, Jody. No one knows what you're gonna find on the other side. Don't worry. I don't think I'm ready to join the Infra world yet. Good. Because I don't want to lose you. It's good to see you. For the mission's sake? Try to keep Aiden from killing you? But no promises. Well, we're off to a great start. I grew tired of all this. If you refuse to cooperate, I will have no choice but to kill you. Of course, I will kill you regardless. But it could have been fast and painless. Instead, it will be a very, very slow and agonizing death. So, I ask you one last time. Who do you work for? Where are you? It's completely deserted! You sure it's here? We're right on top of the coordinates. Storm's getting worse! What do we do now? Hey, Jody, ask Aiden to find a shelter somewhere. You hear that, Aiden? Got it! Let's go! Goddamn fishing village. Our informer duped us. That's what happened. We better get moving before they have to dig our frozen dead asses out of here. Three days walking on ice, eating snow for nothing. Fuck! I find the asshole that sent us here. Hey! I'm sick and tired of hearing you complaining. 
That's all you have to say, then shut the fuck up! You guys, I'm freezing. You think maybe we could build a fire first and argue later? She's right. We'll set up camp here till the storm blows over. I'll contact HQ and get instructions. Everything's wet. Let me try. Damn. All this stuff is soaking. <clears throat> We'd better find something. We won't make it through the night. Desperate for a pee. Don't go too far, okay? It's minus 40. I don't plan on doing any sightseeing. On the main road. A convoy of armored cars. They drove right by me. They see you? No. No, I don't think so. Let's roll. Let's follow them! Bingo. I didn't go see what's inside. Loading crates into into submarines. Submarines. That means the rift is it's underwater. I mean, they must have a, a base down there, and they're using the subs to shuttle supplies. How many soldiers? I can see three. Tell Iden to take them out. Iden.
Jungs! do now just give me a second okay What exactly are you doing? I'm finding a solution to the problem. Nice idea, but it won't fool them very long. Yeah, well, maybe not. But that fucking rift is not gonna shut down by itself, is it? Okay. That might work from a distance. Then what? We take the sub down to the base. And then we take it from there. I'll go with her. What about us? It's a two-seater. You stay here, you find us a way out. By the time we get back, there's a good chance we're gonna have to move fast. What? Wait, that's in order, Nick. Give me the explosives. We might not make it back alive, right? Yeah. Yeah, I've known that from the start. Keep diving. The base shouldn't be far.
I am impressed. Few men would have heard that for so long. Perhaps you will be more sensitive to your comrades' pain. My questions are simple. I want to know your name, who you work for, and how you learn of the existence of this base. Of course, you also have to tell me what happened when you crossed the containment field. Just say nothing, you hear me? You know! I'm going to ask the same questions over and over again until you answer them. What is your name? My name is Holmes. Jody, no. Jody Holmes. Agent 894732. I work with the CIA. So the CIA is aware of our little experiments. And what about the entity that was trapped in our containment field? Tied to me. I was born with him. Fascinating. The Americans have also discovered the existence of this phenomenon. I must inform my superiors. I will return soon to continue our conversation. I'm sorry, Ryan. Now what? We find the condenser, destroy it, and get out. And any idea how you plan to do that? No. But I'll figure something out. Watch out! Get out, Jill, get your We Woman, you didn't shoot you. Look out to shoot you. Find the condenser before they realize something's up. The door over there. That must be the way. The condenser's close. I'm feeling echoes coming from the rift. This is too easy. I don't like it. <laughs> Jody! Jody, what's happening? What's happening? Get up! One button! Right arm and leg eye! Woman, you are one arm
，你在这干什么？这没你什么事，回你的营区去。我的天啊，怎么一回事？
really scared, I am. Stay close, okay? light on this thing. Keep calm, Biden. Going to die here with me. The greatest discovery the world has ever known. Destroyed because of you, stupid American bitch! Years of worth! All for nothing! Make you pay for 
what you've done! Come back to me, huh? Come back. Oh, fuck. Oh. Come on, Joey. Don't die, huh? Don't die. Don't die. Good night, Princess. Is Nathan okay? When will I see him again? Oh. I don't know, honey. He hasn't left his office in three days. He loved his wife and daughter more than anything in the world. But we can try again tomorrow, okay? Get some sleep.
Cody. What are you doing here? It's late. Go back to bed. What did you say? It was so quick. Mommy couldn't do anything. But it didn't hurt. Stop it, Jody. It didn't hurt at all. You hear me? Stop it right now. We are here, Nathan. We're right by your side. Helen. Laura. We love you, darling. We'll always love you. Talk to me again. Jody. Make them come back. Make them come back again. I can't. They've gone. Please. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. I miss them so much. The active condenser in the Republic of Kazakhstan has been destroyed and the rift is now inaccessible. We are now the only nation with access to the Infoworld. This situation opens up new strategic and military perspectives. Now we're gonna launch new programs to discover possible energy resources and develop military applications. We've already found ways of linking entities to human soldiers, and this is just the beginning. Now, this is more important than the race to space for developing nuclear capability. We have discovered a new world. A world for us to conquer. This is the beginning of a new era for our nation. Pentagon top brass getting you down? McGrath makes me sick. Just a typical cynical asshole. No, I would be doing the country a favor if I let Aiden take care of him. Yeah, we played our part in all of this. They told us we were doing the right thing. But all we did was allow the Pentagon alone to control the infra-world. So what are you gonna do now? Leave. Go somewhere far away and just try and lead a normal life. <sighs> and what about you? The CIA has it all mapped out for me. Top tier, big car golf meetings. I, mean, I haven't given him an answer yet, but it's worth considering. Listen. Jody, I, I know it's been complicated between us, and I, I didn't always do the right thing. But maybe we could start again. You know, try and build something together. I mean, after all the stuff we've been through, maybe we could make it work.
What about Aiden? I'll get used to him. But I'm sure he'll end up getting used to me. I mean, we have something in common. We both care about you. It's worth a try. <laughs> I will do whatever it takes to make you happy. And you'll forget about all this. Ah, there you are. Nathan's looking for you. Come on, I'll take you to his office. Later, Ryan. Oh, you know what? I got a single malt in my office that needs sharing. Meet you in a few? Never say no to a single malt. <laughs> Great, I'll see you in a bit. Let's go, Jody, Nathan's waiting. Ryan's a good guy, and I think he really cares about you. I know. And I'm gonna do everything I can to make it work. Here we are. Call me when you're done, I'll come pick you up. Okay. Whatever Nathan says, be careful. Come in! Jody. Oh, I'm so glad to see you safe. I kept my part of the bargain. Now it's the CIA's turn. As far as the CIA is concerned, you no longer exist. You're now Elizabeth North. No identity and no life. $500,000 for services rendered. That should help make a new start. Thanks. Before you go, there's one last thing I'd like to ask. When my wife and daughter disappeared in that accident 15 years ago, I wanted to die too. I cried a lot, banging my head against the wall, trying to figure out why, why, why them. Never being able to hold them again. It was like a wound that wouldn't heal. But then you came along. And I realized they were still here all the time, near me. I just couldn't see.
government gave me everything I needed to study the infraworld. They were interested in military applications. I was interested in seeing my family again. It's taken me some years, but I finally succeeded in creating this. Hello, my darlings. finish my research. You're the only one that can do it. Nathan, <laughs> you're hurting us. You've got to let us go. Let us die. You, you're lying. Helen did say that you did. They're keeping them here. They're being torn apart between two worlds. That, that's not true. You're lying. I know they want to be with me again. I know they want to be with me. Nathan, if you love them, if you, if you really love them, you've got to let them go. You can't cheat death. Cheat death? Death is nothing. You hear me? Nothing. Goodbye, Nathan. Hi, Jody. Good to see you again. Well, you put us in a very difficult situation, you know that. We can't let you go. We can't kill you either. 
I don't know what you'll do on the other side. So there's only one appropriate solution. We inject you with a neuro acid, which will put you in a permanent coma. Exactly what we did with your mother. A simple and elegant way to put an end to our uh, collaboration. Goodbye, Johnny. We will always be grateful for your help. but I didn't want to see. Help me, Nathan. I'm going to accomplish man's oldest dream. Nobody will have to die anymore. No one will ever be separated again. What are you... What are you talking about? The containment field. I'm going to deactivate it. The infraworld will spread through our dimension. Life and death, united in one world. It's not just souls on the other side. It's death. I've beaten death, Jody. Everything's gonna be just fine. You need to trust me. Everything is gonna turn out fine. We guide and find something else. Get help. Hurry. Where's the rest of your team? Ben's and Nick. <laughs> They have three months leave. They're on a beach on some exotic island, no doubt. Lucky bastards. entities in this lab? Good God, no. They're all trapped behind the containment field. Aiden? Is that you, Aiden? This is a joke. It's not funny. Why well, would... What is it, Aiden? Where's Jody? Lead us to Jody, Aiden. Show us the way. Right. Now where? This way. Over there. Okay. 
Okay, I get it. Want us to take the elevator? Is that it? Freeman, I have level three authorization. He's with me. Mm, I'm sorry, Mr. Freeman. You do not have the correct authorization for this level. Maybe you could make an exception. I just want to show him. Sorry, sir. This area is level four classified. You do not have the right credentials. You gotta get us past him, Aiden. Desk 42, hello. Hello? Hello? I think you made a mistake. Could you check again, please? Cole Freeman and Ryan Clayton? I'm sorry, you are on the list. My apologies. Um, go on through. Thank you. Hurry, Aiden. Take us to Jody. Now where? Something moved. Jody's here? Jody! Get out! Oh. Oh. Nathan! He's gonna deactivate the containment field. What? Why? Why would he do that? He's gone insane. I think he's gonna get his family back. We gotta stop him. Containment field. Oh Christ, he's done it. He's done it. You need help? No. No, I'm okay. Okay. This way. Hurry up. Don't stay here. We gotta. We gotta evacuate this place now. We gotta get out now. It might still be a chance to reactivate the field. It isn't already too late. Jesus! They're out! They're all out! The field isn't working! They sent this back! Johnny! You're the only one who 
can stop this. Dawkins has gone mad. He took down the field. You gotta get rid of these goddamn monsters now! I ought to kill you, McGrath. But the last thing the Infoworld needs is a son of a bitch like you. Get out of my way. Clayton! Get me out of here immediately, Clayton! Agent Clayton, that's an order! <sighs> Consider that my resignation. You're all gonna die here. We're all gonna die. Condenser and trigger the manual self destruct. Might be our only chance to close the rift. It's a long shot, but it's the best I got. You're talking crazy, Cole. We need to get out of here with the military clean their own fucking mess. Jody, no. Paul's right. It's our only chance. Right? I just figured I'd die the hero. Black Sun is at the center of the dome. No one's ever been before, so there's no telling what we'll find down there. How much time do we have after we've activated the self-destruct? The system was designed to be activated remotely. The explosion will be practically instantaneous. We're not coming back. seen us yet. It's our only chance. Jesus. I hope you're right. Or a little trip into the info world might come to a sticky end. Ida, don't attract attention or we're dead.
They're coming! Don't you know? I 
missed you. I missed you so much. You're the only one who can fix this, Jenny. Do it. Do it for me. was looking for. Come on. Destroy the fucking condenser. Get out of here before I change my mind. Inject you with a neural acid. Put you in a permanent coma. Exactly what we did with your mother. It's too late, Joey. It's too late.
give me back my child. Calm down, Nora. I want to see her. My little girl. My little boy. For God's sake, what's going on? The twin. He strangled them. Cord. We couldn't do my anything. Son. I want to see my son. Aiden. My twin. My brother. We couldn't leave each other. Our souls were bound together. I loved you and hated you for years. You were a part of me. Living, feeling, being in love. I love you, Jody. Growing old. I love you. So many things I still have to do. Jody, we made it. Aiden?
Ever since the Black Sun was destroyed, my memory has been disintegrating. I spent too much time on the other side. Now it's eating away at my mind, erasing what's left of it. My memories are all confused, slowly self-destructing, fading like a dream when you wake up. I'm losing my sense of time. I no longer know what happened before or after. Everything's playing inside my head at the same time. It's like watching the same film looping over and over again. A chaos of images with no order. So I've been writing night and day for weeks, trying to put my life down on paper. If I forget everything, these pages will be my memory. Three months after the fact, the investigation continues in an effort to determine the cause of the accident that cost 283 lives on a Pentagon military base. Government representatives confirm that the authorities are working hand in hand with the investigators to shed light on this appalling tragedy. The CIA is leaving me alone for the moment. I suppose they're too busy building another condenser to worry about me. I know they'll never abandon their experiments now that they know what's on the other side. Honestly, I don't give a damn. Now I need to reconstruct my life. My life without Ida. For as long as I can remember, I dreamt of living without him. Untied, without his constant presence by my side. I got what I wanted. I've never been so unhappy in my life. I feel like part of me has been amputated. Crying all day. I know it's stupid. Shit. I miss him so much. months, months of nothing passing by, 
Then I woke up. I knew it was time. Time to start again. To build a new life. It was so obvious. Deep inside, I, I always knew. I just needed the silence around me to hear what I was feeling. It took me a while to realize how much I love them. I'd been alone and sad for so long. I, I'd forgotten what it was like to love someone. We traveled as far away as we could. I had to learn to love again. To put my trust in someone to stop fighting and running away. In short, I had to learn to live. Ryan and I never talked about it again. as if it all never happened. As if the other side didn't exist. As if it could never come back into our lives. See things at night. Terrifying things. I tell myself it's only nightmares, but 
I know it's not true. Once Pandora's box is open, it can never be closed again. No. It's not nightmares. It's what is about to happen. I've died twice already. I'm not afraid of death anymore. Next time, I'll kill everyone. My God, I was so afraid I lost. There's no telling what we'll find down there. How much time do we have after we've activated the self destruct We're not coming back. Saturday night!